Well, hello there. I see you there. <laughs> it's Friday already. Yes. So let's make it a good one today, shall we? Let's make it a really, 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 oh, punching good one. <laughs> yeah, so we're getting into it. This is a live stream, or perhaps you're watching the replay. And uh, just thought I'd clear that up a little bit because I do read uh, some of the comments on the uh, the replay videos afterwards, particularly over on YouTube. And a lot of people comment in that comment section on the replay as if it's live, which is obviously good, but kind of bad in a way because you think I'm ignoring you. So if you're not here between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. UK time, uh, then you can be guaranteed that you're watching the replay, okay? But if you're here between just before 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. UK time, Monday to Friday, we're live. We do it every single day. Make sure to subscribe. Tell your friends as well. David Silk was first in. Congratulations, David Silk. Caddo Bell is moderating today. Uh, he's got lots of hockey uh, goodness in the chat. Peter Young's in as well. Nice to see you. Joe Salmi as well in moderating with the Spanner 2 on YouTube chat today, which is nice. Don LeBlanc's in. Michael Duffy as well. We've got Wee Song 2 uh, in. Uh, we've got Raw Hunter as well. Uh, <laughs> Cato with a, a joke that I just don't think I should read out. But you can see it in the chat, of course. It's going to be a good one today. I'm, I'm feeling pumped about this one. This is one of those uh, kind of creative ones where I go a bit nuts and grab things from around the house. David Lewis, here and ready to learn. And be warned, I have a Lewis question. I always love your Lewis questions. They're brilliant. Um, yeah, fantastic. I'm so excited about it all. Let me know what you're up to today. And indeed, if you're new to the stream and you've just tuned in now, type the word NEW all in caps in the chat so that I and others know you're new. We know to treat you nicely. We always treat people nicely. But NEW. Type NEW. Or, as JD Thaddams did, BOO. That will do as well. Paul Orr is in from Knoxville. Joe's also going to be modding on Facebook. Wow! Very, very cool. That is multitasking to the extreme. I like that. <laughs> nice comment, Don. Joe, thanks for mentioning the community. Go over there and join up if you haven't done so already. Lots of action in there. I'm going to get in and uh, take a look at some of the new threads after the show today. Dave has been doing his washing today. Thank you for the Simon Cowell reference, Caddo. <laughs> so JD Thaddams is new. Wow. Where are you watching from, JD Thaddams? Let me know. And... Uh, how did you find this? Kevin Larkin is new. Hello, Kevin, and welcome. Welcome to you. Kevin, where are you watching from, and what are you up to today? Let me know. Four minutes, 26 seconds. I suppose I better put Periscope live. Let's do that. And say hello to those lovely, tweety, periscopey people. So going live now on Periscope. Scopy people. Oh, there we go. There's a little bit of feedback. That's me. We're live on Periscope, streaming as well. So you can find us in many places. You can find us uh, primarily on youtube.com slash music radio creative. Uh, also, I would say the, the second platform for us uh, is Facebook Live. Uh, we go live there bang on 2 p.m. UK time, whatever that is in your time zone. And uh, we also stream in a plethora of other places like Periscope, Twitch, Microsoft's Mixer.com, Smashcast, VK, Ustream, Mob Crush, Daily Motion, Cyber Game. <laughs> this goes on. Live House China, Stream.me, Picato, OK Russia. <laughs> it's like being on syndicated radio, apart from a little more modern. Hi to Liam, hi to James. Thanks, J.D. Thanams. Love your voice. Uh, from Neath, South Wales. I hope I said that correctly, with the accent. Been a subscriber for a few weeks. That's awesome. Absolutely awesome. In fact, we're, we're travelling uh, 
up to Scotland in October. And we're thinking of driving back, instead of driving back through England, we're thinking of uh, taking the ferry over to uh, Belfast, driving down to Dublin, and then back through uh, South Wales. So uh, it's beautiful there. I love Wales. Cheers from Orlando, Florida, working on recording commercials today. Nice. Very, very cool indeed. Thanks, Joe, for welcoming the new viewers. <laughs> Good to see some new people in the chat today. Love from India. Adietta. Aditya, maybe. Raw Hunters in Germany. David's working on InDesign and Photoshop. A bit of a graphic design day, it sounds. Doing the day job before my weekend of two live radio shows. Yep, you are an Adobe boy through and through. That is good to know. <laughs> I live in the creative cloud. Obscure developer, welcome back. Yay. Uh, it has been a while. Uh, so that's nice. You've been moving country. Wherever you moved from and to. I think you mentioned you were from Ireland. So where are you now, obscure developer? James is in the Philippines. Ule, good to see you. Ule's back from Norway. I'll keep a welcome in the hillsides for. <laughs> you from the valley. That's lovely. Okay, stand by. We're getting going very soon. This is going to be an exciting one. I'm very, very excited for it. And... Uh, Hopefully you are too. Remember to keep the comments and questions coming in. If you're new, type new in the chat in big capital letters so we know you're new. And stand by. We're about to make punching sound effects and we're live in one minute from now. Testing the left speaker. Left. left. Testing the right speaker. Right. right. Testing phaser. 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 Stand by. Stand by. Stand by for music radio creative live with Mike Russell. MRC Live. Music radio creative live with Mike Russell. Starting in 30 seconds. It is Friday. Yes, that's right. And oh, look at that back there behind me. Uh, the TV is dead. Yes, officially grab your TV and throw it out the window. Uh, syndicated online live streaming is the place to be. There we go. Oh, uh, another TV uh, <laughs> takes a hit there for you watching now on the live stream. If you're listening on the podcast on demand, uh, mrc.fm slash podcast. I'm really excited to have you there. I love podcasting, uh, podcast listeners and podcasters. Uh, so it's exciting and hopefully Hopefully you'll be able to follow through as I create some punching sound effects and do some stuff with uh, uh, with various props in this one. It's going to be a bit of a creative one. We're just going to go a bit crazy. I've already gone crazy. Isabella's given me very funny looks as I was whacking the sofa earlier on with a broom. Uh, but yeah, it's all in the aid of making punching sound effects. Um, so... As I mentioned at the top of every show, this is the show for you if you're an audio producer, if you're a voiceover artist, if you're in radio, if you're a DJ, if you're a podcaster, if you just want to make awesome sounding audio, you are in the right place and welcome along if it's your first show as well. It's great to have you here. Uh, let me bring you up to date on uh, some of the stuff we've got going on, especially if you're new. Uh, for instance, we've got a community that you can join over here. Uh, it's very, very uh, busy with uh, lots of stuff that I'm going to be looking into uh, after I finish uh, all the new threads that have come in. Um, but one that's just been pinned, uh, and this is kind of a breaking news if you're uh, watching live today on Friday, 
Friday the 11th of August. Um, a post here from Jenny uh, has been pinned about SoundCloud. If you're on SoundCloud, you better read this. Now, obviously, we don't know yet uh, what the outcome is, uh, but this is from digitalmusicnews.com. Uh, on Friday, that's today, SoundCloud's existing investors will determine if the company lives or dies. So you might want to back up your catalogue. That's just a heads up, OK? Don't usually do breaking news on these streams, but I thought, yeah, I just caught that in the in the music radio creative community and I thought you might want to know that if you're on SoundCloud as many of us are and here's another article from fortune.com as well uh, they're leading with the sun might be setting on SoundCloud the end may be nigh for music streaming service SoundCloud uh, once termed or deemed the YouTube of audio now where are we with SoundCloud I just don't know um, but I know for a fact in about 10 days, I have a pro subscription renewal coming up. <laughs> I, I'd better cancel that in case they pull the plug, but the um, the charging mechanism stays in place. You, you never know with these things, do you? Uh, so, uh, yeah, I don't know. What, what, what are your thoughts? I'd be interested to hear, seeing as this is a live show. Um, hop into the chat wherever you're watching right now and let me know what your thoughts are on SoundCloud. Uh, let's do a bit of live interaction today. Uh, are you worried or concerned about this uh, news that is kind of breaking about SoundCloud? It all rests on the decisions of some investors. Uh, I think they need something uh, like, uh, yeah, they, they need a lot of money basically to keep going. And uh, that's the long and short of it. And the investors are going to decide whether it's worth Worth it or not. You see, uh, I'll, I'll start by just saying uh, about the whole audio space online before we get into the topic today. Um, I've always thought it was really weird that audio online has been very siloed. It's like, okay, you can upload your audio to Spreaker.com or you can put it on SoundCloud.com or if you're a podcaster, you can put it on Libsyn or maybe Blueberry. Uh, then maybe you want to host your own audio on your website, but don't do that because your web server will crash. So host it in Amazon S3, but don't get popular because then you'll pay a lot of money. So it's like, where do I host my audio? And now I think most people are, are posting audio on YouTube and they're putting animated graphics to it and stuff like that. I've seen a a lot of that. Uh, I've mentioned in the live stream before about these 24-7 live radio stations that are now using YouTube's live service. Uh, so they stream once to YouTube and then they can have as many listeners as, or viewers as they want uh, without worrying about bandwidth and streaming costs and everything. So do let me know your thoughts on SoundCloud. Are you worried about it possibly going? And if it did go, would you miss it? Would you miss it? Would it ruin your online life? Uh, does your life revolve around SoundCloud? Uh, thoughts, please, in the chat today. Uh, and also let me know uh, where you're watching from and what you hope to uh, to gain from the show. So that's a bit of breaking news for you. Uh, for all the rest of uh, current events and also just other stuff related to audio, I recommend that you go to uh, community.musicradiocreative.com. That's community.musicradiocreative.com. Okay, let's get started uh, on the topic for today. And the topic, as you can see uh, right here on the upcoming live stream for today, is how to make punching sound effects. You know, kind of whack, whack, whack. Um, well, <laughs> earlier on, I went round the house and what I wanted to do in this session was give you um, practical tips that you can follow and practical things you can grab from around your house if you want to make punching sound effects. Um, I had a bit of fun with Isabella earlier on, recorded this into Premiere, and she kind of attempted to whack me without actually hitting my face. Uh, so hang on, I'm just going to make this smaller so you can see the video uh, where, aside the, uh, the chat comments there. So she attempted to whack me without actually whacking me. I don't think we did a very good job, but I'm going to try and sync up some sound effects I've recorded on my Roland R-05, uh, this little portable audio recorder, and also the, uh, the audio technica mic I have in my studio. And we'll see if we can't make this sound realistic uh, in 55 minutes time from now. Uh, but this is, this is the footage we got three, earlier. Two, one. Three, two, one. <laughs> three, two, one. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> and again? Three, two, one. Okay. <laughs> one more time. One more time. <laughs> <laughs> I was genuinely nervous she was going to whack me one, but luckily she didn't. Um, and I, as I was looking through, I, I think that's probably the take that I'm going to focus on uh, for this, at least the first part of this session. Three, two, one. 
That looks like she almost hit me. I think, you know, obviously I'm an audio guy, so I'm going to show you the audio mechanics of creating your own punch effects. Um, but I, I think if, like, I was to be a bit better at video, I'd probably change the camera angle so you can't really see that she's not quite hitting me. I think that's what they probably do in movies. Um, but anyway, let's, uh, let's take what we have here in Premiere Pro and we can go over and edit in Adobe Audition. Uh, that's where we'll take the sequence out. Mike Epic Punch. Uh, so this here, by the way, I accessed that by going to the edit menu and then edit in Adobe Audition. And I'm editing the sequence, which is this down here. You'll be familiar with this if you're a, a pro with video. Uh, so we got like my video track and we've got the audio from the camera. So I can kind of hear things that are going on and align stuff. Um, so everything is good here. Yes, I want the entire sequence. Dynamic Link is the fantastic Adobe magic thing uh, that just sends your video and audio back and forth between apps seamlessly. Uh, don't worry about audio handles, leave that as it is. Uh, audio clip effects and audio track effects, yet we want to transfer anything, even though we haven't done anything yet. Uh, same with pan and volume information. And then yes, tick, open please in Adobe Audition. While that's transferring, I wanted to show you uh, what I used. Uh, this is a carrot uh, that I'm holding. Uh, for those listening right now, I'm holding a carrot. And if you want to make a really cool kind of neck crunching sound, uh, I recorded these earlier, so I'm not going to do it again. Uh, but I did something like this. Have a listen. Hmm. I'm not going to crunch that carrot now because that would be rude on the stream. Um, so yes, I, I crunched a carrot <laughs> and, uh, and it worked rather well. Um, but also another prop you can use, and we'll go through many more props uh, to make these punching sound effects. Another prop is one of these. This is a nice, wonderful uh, courgette. I'm gonna throw it on the barbecue tomorrow, providing it's sunny on the Isle of Wight. And uh, what, what I did to, uh, to record a, a sound effect of punching with this courgette is I, I wrapped a, a tea towel around it and I kind of really whacked it one in front of my condenser microphone. So uh, picked up a nice bassy thwack from that. So we've got neck crunching. Oh dear, that's a bit bruised. Uh, hopefully I can still throw it on the barbecue. No one will know. And um, yeah, so that was good. Also, I wanted to get some like whipping motions, you know, the kind of through the air as, uh, as the punch is coming in to land, because there are kind of there are three parts, shall we say, to creating a, a punch sound effect. Uh, first part is the build up, the through the air kind of thing. The uh, second bit is the impact and then the uh, the third bit is the kind of reaction from the well no actually you'd probably have first of all you'd have the kind of energy from the person punching and then you'd have a Ooh! from the person who's just been punched and by the way i want to say at this point i do not endorse violence this stream is not endorsing violence violence is a very very bad thing uh, but recreating and, uh, and making audio effects uh, about violence are very very fun <laughs> I think so. Just wanted to clear that up for you. Uh, if you're watching, I think this guy's showing how, how to make like violent sound effects and like make it look like you're punching people. I'm not endorsing violence. I'm showing you how to use the tools uh, to make this kind of stuff if you want. Uh, so the tea towel is also handy, not just for wrapping that uh, that courgette up with. You can also use uh, eggplant or aubergine, as we call it this side of the world, and uh, you can you can do this for a thwacking sound. Well, it sounded better when I did it earlier, obviously, because uh, I did it close to the mic. But yeah, just kind of thwack your tea towel around. And also one of one of these, uh, that is a, a bona fide belt. And uh, I just kind of whipped that, but I kind of kept whipping myself. So I kind of got red sore arms, but... Uh, yeah, it's not going to work in this small studio. Uh, but yeah, you can be sure I, I did a good whipping in front of the microphone earlier on. And just finally, before we get down to a little bit of sound design, uh, this is really good for creating <laughs> for creating uh, um, punching sound effects. Can you see that? That's a that's an Isle of Wight yellow pages. That's a, a yellow pages for the Isle of Wight. Uh, I use that. The only problem about living on the Isle of Wight, very small population, offshore United Kingdom, is that the yellow pages usually expected to be really thick, right? And I'm sure in most parts of the world where you live, it probably is. Here on the Isle of Wight, the yellow pages is that thick, right? Yeah. So if you've got a thicker yellow pages, obviously it's going to give you a better sound. But um, what I did just to show you is I, I grabbed this and I, I just whacked the yellow pages like that. And uh, yeah, no, it's kind of ruined. But anyway, 
don't think we need to call any businesses. Um, but what I really wanted to do is kind of try and thwack these little pages inside, particularly, well, any phone book will do, so not just yellow pages, but I was trying to get the, um, the pages to kind of ruffle a bit. The kind of like shaky ru after ruffle, because then you get a kind of like almost kind of like jelly kind of <laughs> impact. And particularly if we do some stuff in Adobe Audition with it, that should come out really well. Um, so, yeah, so uh, just to recap, a little bit of theory for the first part. But yeah, we've looked at phone books. Um, I didn't use this, by the way. I used uh, um, my daughter's uh, children's encyclopedia because it's super thick. And, and I gave that a good whacking uh, <laughs> on the microphone. So we've done that. But also, also smacking and clapping with your hands to create stuff. Um, as we'll see, we'll probably go into logic a little bit in this stream, and um, there are definitely some synth sounds you can use. Um, because let's face it, right, when you're creating a punching sound effect, it usually sounds nothing like a real punch sounds in real life. That's the point. You're exaggerating the sound in a way. That's what most movies do. That's what that's what Fight Club does. You know, the Fight Club movie, I'm sure many of you will have watched that. They totally over-exaggerated and went to town on their sound design um, because they wanted to make sure when you see a punch, that's that's a punch kind of thing. So uh, so we'll maybe throw a few kick drums in. Uh, Groans and Grunts talked about that already. Uh, when we get into Adobe Audition, we'll be layering up multiple effects to get what we want. EQing as well. Um, other things, by the way, I did some research for you, as I always like to do. I always do as much show prep as I can uh, to make these shows kind of engaging for you. Um, but I was reading online, pizza dough is apparently very good. Wet pizza dough, you can thwack that. And if you're a meat eater, uh, we're veggies in this house, so we've got lots of vegetables, but not much meat round here. Um, a good slab of, uh, of steak or something like that, uh, nice and moist, wrapped in a tea towel, thwack it against the wall, and, uh, and that ought to work really, really well indeed. Any vegetables, uh, celery, carrots, stuff like that. Uh, hitting the sofa with a broom. That's what I was doing earlier on. Uh, what else? Slapping your thighs. Yes, I, I did that too. Um, the car door. If you've got a car door, give that a good slam. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, this prop as well is worth showing you as well. This is a stick. This is wood. Uh, just snapping the wood. Good for uh, bone, bone breaking uh, and knuckle crunching sound effects. Um, hitting jackets. Didn't have time to do that this morning, but I've got a nice raincoat I could hit. Uh, and and that. That's it. So I think that about wraps up now uh, the sound design part of this video. Next, we will get into the practical stuff inside Adobe Audition. And uh, I'll also use one of the synths in Logic uh, just to throw a few sounds into Audition to work with. Uh, right now, we are at uh, 15 minutes into the stream or near enough. And I do think it is worth uh, mentioning some of the comments that have come in uh, so far uh, since we started the show. Uh, so as you can see, we've got our moderators, Caddo and Joe, who are there with the spanners uh, on the YouTube chat. Uh, Joe is also over on uh, Facebook. Um, and uh, so that's really, really good stuff. Obscure Developer says, uh, I've just moved from the south of Ireland to the United Arab Emirates. That's really cool. And I'm sure a lot warmer there. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, Paul Orr, Mike, promises now you'll never, ever, with exception of getting a wisdom tooth for a few days, stop doing this broadcast. Well, thank you, Paul. I, I really appreciate that. I can actually give you a heads up that uh, next week I'm doing only four shows, but that's that's an exception because I do take this show very seriously. And you, because obviously you you make the effort to turn up, so I want to be there for you. Um, but next week uh, I'm doing Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Won't be here on Friday uh, because we're travelling to the north of England for the weekend. So, uh, yeah, uh, just an exception there. But apart from that and wisdom teeth, <laughs> I think I'll be okay. Uh Don, I swear Mike's voice is pitch shifted in the intro. Is it? Maybe. I don't know. Uh, what else have we got here? First day of vacation for Christopher. Uh, oh, and uh, by the way, I was going to say, if you, uh, if you subscribe to the channel, if you're not already subscribed on YouTube, something nice will happen on this live stream. So if you're not subscribed already, click subscribe now and you'll see. Um, some comments, feedback on your SoundCloud uh, ideas. Uh, Obscure developer, I've used it to check out new artists. It's a brilliant tool. If it goes, if not, 
if it goes, it goes. If not, awesome. I personally have anything. I don't have anything up on it. I host my audio on my own site, so that's cool. Uh, David Reese SoundCloud. I've never used it, but it sounds like a stupid idea to kill it. David says SoundCloud seemed to die when Mixcloud came along. Uh, so there you go. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, so yeah, some nice comments on the uh, the angles, video camera angles. Rocky 2 was insane with punch sounds. Yes, indeed. Uh, video is more my thing. Uh, what else have we got? Audio violence is absolutely uh, safe. Yes, indeed. Violence to courgettes is unacceptable. <laughs> I do agree. Um, who has a yellow pages anymore? Exactly. I, I called it a courgette. What do you call it in Australia? What do you, what do you call one of these in Australia? Is it a, a turnip? Or, I don't know, courgette? Courgette, courgette. I don't know. Have I got that wrong? Uh, what else have we got? Now you're going to say coriander is called cleantro. No, I'm definitely, definitely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. Yeah! Uh, oh, thank you, Doyle, for clicking the subscribe button. You see, that is uh, absolutely amazing. That's what happens if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, and uh, we've got a question here. What is the difference between TalkBox and Vocoder plugins? Uh, Cyber Larson asks on the chat forum. I've read up various plugins and can't seem to define a difference. Well, from my understanding here on the stream right now, a vocoder is mixing your voice with another sound and kind of... Um, it's, it's literally means vocoder means voice encoder. So you're encoding your voice to the sound of something else. So if it was a ground hum, you talk like a robot. And if it was like a, a synth, you talk like something that's smiling and singing. If the synth moves around. Uh, talk box, I can't say I'm absolutely 100% sure on that. But from what I understand, talk boxes used to be I know you can get a few VST plugins and audio units that do this or mimic a talk box. But from what I understand, it was something around particularly in the 1960s, um, that you kind of got a tube and talked into it. And it kind of turned your voice into something funny. Uh, so kind of similar, but not the same in the effect you get. Um, what else have we got? Uh, David's got a question. I was watching back yesterday's stream and right at the end of EQing, etc., you said the last thing was to master. What is mastering in context? Mastering is adding the final polish to your audio production. So with mastering, you should not be trying to fix dodgy mixes and dodgy compression and dodgy levels and dodgy EQ. You should have everything sounding great and then mastering is just to add the sparkle, the polish, if you like. So it's kind of like inviting guests around for dinner and, uh, you know, everything is set nicely but you remember you forgot to um to dust the dining room table so then you go and master the dining room table by just dusting it and it all looks clean and nice and your guests are really happy uh so that's what i would say there uh thanks caddo for the uh, super chat mention always welcome super chats they do help to support the show uh, doyle's in from the philippines and just subscribed i see there which is really really nice uh, of course yeah of course it's a zucchini yes i knew it was a zucchini uh so there we go uh, what else have we got? Right, we'll get back to the chat in just a minute, but now let's get in and uh, really do some practical stuff here in Adobe Audition. So as you can see here, I picked out... Um, that's that's going to be my, my punch bit there. So I need to find where the impact happens. You can see the videos down here. I might actually make the video a bit bigger down here so you can really see it, and then we'll try and layer up some effects. She didn't really hit me at all, did she? She didn't really get close. But, uh, oh, that's quite close, isn't it? I would say that's about the point of impact, isn't it? So we need to make sure our thwacks are getting in where she hits me. Right, that's before the point of impact. So we're finding the exact moment that Isabella hits me, which is about there. Okay. And so I'm going to place a marker there, and I'm going to call that marker impact. So I absolutely know that is the point that I'm working to, uh, to make it all look good. So impact. And then we'll go through and have a look at uh, some of the audio that I've got, uh, maybe normalize some of it, and see what we're going to use. So I think I've got some belt whips. I recorded these earlier on. Uh, on the uh, condenser microphone here in the studio. So what else have we got here? Oh, uh, belt whips. So 
Yeah, I seem to remember, actually. I also recorded it. It's funny how the condenser microphone has a different quality to this Roland R-05, which has two condenser mics on. So I might pick out a belt whip from here. Yeah. And that sounds a bit more... Can you hear the... Oh, there's actually an impact there. There's. That's when I slapped my elbow. Now, what I'll need to do is I'm going to copy that into a new file and just do some audio uh, doctoring to it. So we'll go in and we'll use the single band compressor uh, and see whether we can get a good uh, good sound on this uh, this impact. Let's bring the threshold down and the ratio up. A bit more. We're going to really compress this, make it loud. And actually, I'm wondering whether that's the best tool for the job. I might actually go in and go amplitude and compression dynamics processing so we can really start to pull this thing out. So you hear already how that's popping out now? That was the original, and this is what we've got now. Okay. So uh, we'll take that and we'll save that as... Uh, uh, belt and impact. So the biggest thing to creating punching sound effects really is um, layering up as much as you can. Um, right, so now I'm going to just bring that in. Yep, sample rate's different, that's okay, because we're walk working to 4800 hertz. Uh, this is a video. That's the impact. So now we should just have a nice little whoosh in. <laughs> Oh, that actually worked quite well. Now I'm going to switch off the audio from the camera so we just focus on the audio we're designing here. You see, just stand alone, that actually doesn't sound too bad, does it? So that's the start of our punching sound effect. And I'm just placing some, some envelopes on. One thing I won't be using much of today is reverb because I want this to sound as realistic as possible. And I think reverb will just wash things out. Okay, we've got something good. And then obviously we go through and, and layer up with some EQ. So we've got the belt uh, whip, and now we've got breaking wood. Breaking wood I probably won't use, but just for example, I'm just going to uh, use the dynamics processor on these samples I caught earlier. And by the way, uh, I'm thinking of making all these samples not processed, but raw, uh, free on the Music Radio Creative community. So... Um, if you would like to get them, uh, then I would I would recommend uh, that you you say yes, please uh, post these free uh, sound design elements in the community, and I'll do it after the show. So breaking wood sounds very much like a uh, breaking bones and knuckles. Well, that was one of them. That's more of a that's more of a bone breaking sound. And this one was a real bone breaking sound. There you go. So, and that was literally, that was just me snapping a twig in front of the microphone. Uh, and obviously with a bit of compression sounds really good. But at the moment, I'm not going to use that. Carrot Crunch, uh, again, we'll uh, go through and dynamics process that and have a listen to some of those neck crunching sounds. So I could go, I could kind of go like this. And uh, I could go like this. Or like this. And that would sound uh, really kind of on the point. Um, there we go. Uh, what else have we got here? The courgette. Now, I think I might be using the courgette, so I'm going to copy that into a new file and paste it. And then we're going to go and uh, amplitude and compression, dynamics processing, apply. So we need... I think the last one is a nice, that's a real meaty kind of impact sound, isn't it? So uh, I'll just chop the rest out and we'll layer that into the mix there. So let's take that and place that on the impact. See how that's going to sound. Yep, we're converting sample rates here, but that's okay. So as you can see, aligning that up. And uh, I do want this to look colorful for you. So I'm going to make that a nice orangey and I'm going to make this a nice yellow and let's see what we got. Oh wow, so already now with the courgette and the uh, the belt slap that is starting to look good. Um, so let's see what else we can pick out of the mix here. Got down to the courgette, we've got hand slaps as well. So let's see what we got in hand slaps. Uh, 
Oh, something's going wrong. Why have I got a bouncing beach ball? I've got a bouncing beach ball at the moment. It's thinking about things. Might be a, a point in the show for me to take a little break and maybe answer some more of your questions. What is happening? Haven't got many other programs running, so why is this uh, suddenly throwing a fit? Ah, okay, we're back with hand slaps now. That's quite a good one there. Let's take that, it's nice and loud. And I'm just going to call these untitled for the moment for sake of ease and convenience, but obviously if I was doing this for a professional project, I would be labeling as I go along. That's quite a top end tinny kind of effect, but let's uh, let's layer this in. And the best thing about Audition is when you drag something in, uh, I'm going to say don't show that alert again. Um, you just get a new track automatically if you try to drag something onto the master track. So now we have got uh, a belt whip impact, uh, we've got a courgette, and we've got a slap. Let's see how that's working now. Wow. Okay, sounding good, isn't it? Um, so now, uh, what else have we got here? Uh, hand slaps. Uh, let's look at the kitchen towel. Let's copy that all over. Add some dynamics processing. I'm going to go through in the next section and start adding some EQ so we can make this pop even more. Uh, dynamics processing here and add that on. Um, by the way, if you're watching on Facebook Live, do let me know where you are watching from today. I would really, really appreciate that. So what have we got here? What did I say this was? The kitchen towel, yeah. Let's see. What's the best take here? I think we had a good take back. Those two actually, uh, or maybe. Those two, yeah. I'm going to layer up those two. And uh, we'll bring in the, uh, the wonderful kitchen towel now. So what I'm trying to show you here is essentially, uh, and I think this is pretty much possible with any sound effect, um, you can really make any sound effect you see in the movies or on cartoons with stuff you have lying around your house. And that's really the take home I want you to get from this session today. If you get anything, um, and something that I want you to do afterwards is I want you to think what objects have I got around my house that I could record into a microphone uh, to make some epic sounding audio. This is all about, I, I do want to do more of these sound design um, uh, sessions, particularly if you enjoy them. So let me know if you do, or uh, if you think they're rubbish and boring, let me know as well and I'll get them out of the schedule. Um, but really, yeah, it's, it's about just finding stuff you've got around your house and uh, you'll find your mind starts to work in funny ways once you start thinking about, like today, all day, I've been thinking about a punching sound effect and I was just looking at things around the house and thinking, oh, that, that might work. And uh, yeah, so it's just about putting a mic up next to it and, uh, and grabbing the audio. So now we're layering again. Wow. So now we've got with that uh, uh, tea towel there, we've now got a double kind of whack in. So remember what I said at the start, uh, we're doing the build up sound, the impact and finally uh, the grunts and the kind of reaction to the punch. Uh, there we go. But we are getting up now onto uh, the halfway point in the show. And as you know, I always love to uh, mention your comments on the show. So let's absolutely do that and uh, and see what we got going on in the chat today. Do uh, post uh, any questions you have at all and I will get around to answering them as best as I can. By the way, if you'd like to super chat today and you're on youtube.com slash music radio creative, just click the dollar sign next to the emoji uh, and it will really help to support the show and I'll be super grateful. And you'll also get a nice big shout out uh, up here uh, on the stream. You also get a shout out on the stream, by the way, if you subscribe. So if you're watching now and you're not subscribed to the YouTube channel at youtube.com slash music radio creative, uh, head over now, hit subscribe and you'll get an automatic shout out on my channel uh, for doing that in real time, which I actually think is uh, pretty awesome. Uh, I wanted to also let you know before I get into the comments that uh, this coming Monday, I know uh, uh, plenty of people have expressed an interest in the intro that I'm using to start my live streams. Everyone needs a good build up right before they go live. Uh, so I have a, a sort of one minute intro with get ready for MRC Live, MRC Live, MRC Live and all of that. Um, so coming this Monday, we're going to make that available for only one week 
week at an exclusive price uh, as a product for you to uh, to purchase and customize if you would like uh, the audio version of my intro uh, customized for you. So that's going to be out on Monday, but we're only going to do it for that week um, because obviously it's limited and I want to keep it relatively exclusive. I don't want everyone <laughs> using, using the same intro, but if you're interested in that, uh, stick around on Monday's stream. That's this coming Monday. And wow, Michael Duffy uh, donated $5 through Super Chat. Michael, you're an absolute hero. I really appreciate you. Uh, no comment along with that Super Chat. Uh, just a nice donation to the show. So Michael, really appreciate that. And now you've seen that's that's what happens. And for podcast listeners, you've heard that's what happens uh, when a Super Chat comes in. Uh, so, uh, zucchini lovers, what have we got here in the chat? And Tom LeBlanc says this is a cucumber. Yes, it could be a cucumber, couldn't it? It definitely. I wouldn't want to be abusive to a cucumber, though. I don't know. I, I kind of like cucumbers. You know, zucchinis, I can take them or leave them. Courgettes, yeah, definitely. Uh, Juan, uh, we all saw reverse reverb looking up if you have a track and you apply convolution reverb and at the presets you choose standing room only. Uh, I'm not sure if that's a question or a statement, but uh, interesting nonetheless. Um, what else have we got here in the chat? Uh, what's going on with the MRC admin, uh, like spamming away? Uh, can one of the uh, the admins please uh, block MRC admin? Uh, they're saying really weird things. And by the way, that user account is nothing to do with uh, Music Radio Creative. Uh, so yeah, weird stuff going on in the chat, but we'll carry on anyway. Uh, I suppose you, you have to occasionally get the odd uh, uh, stalker or, or, or interesting person in the chat, shall we say. Actually, uh, this is a good point in the show to mention that I'm thinking of introducing a new feature uh, yes! to the show. Yay, Phil Sam, thanks for subscribing. I appreciate you, Phil. Um, been playing around with uh, virtual numbers and I was thinking it would be great to have a, a number to call in to the show when I'm live every Monday to Friday from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. So if you would be interested and you would use a telephone number to call in, what I'm thinking of doing is having it hooked in to the computer so that if somebody rings, it actually plays a ringtone on the on the stream and then I can answer like while I'm live and talk to somebody over the phone. If you think that would be something you would do and take part in, let me know and I'll set it up. Uh, but if nobody says, yeah, I'm interested, then I won't set it up, obviously. But um, yeah, I was thinking as well, I know we have viewers from all over the world, um, but I was thinking just in terms of ease and kind of international sake and I know we have a lot of uh, viewers in the United States I was thinking of setting up a US phone number uh, for that um, so let me know uh, if you think we should have a different number like a UK number uh, again place your vote in the chat because I will read your chat uh, particularly after I finish the show uh, so that I can uh, do that so yeah if you'd like if you'd like the opportunity to have a live phone in number to this stream uh, so you can kind of get on the air with me Hello, you're on the air, that kind of thing. Uh, then, uh, yeah, we might do that. Uh, yeah, obscure developer referring to the spinning beach ball of death. It always uh, makes my stomach turn around. And wow, that's absolutely amazing. Thank you so much, Jeff Nielsen. Fantastic videos, Mike. Thanks. Uh, Jeff is the airline pilot guy. And Jeff, for you, you get your very own feature on the stream. Jeff, thank you so much for that wonderful super chat, and it does really help to support the show. Uh, very, very kind of you to do that. Thank you very much for that. Uh, Christopher's talking about Skype. Yeah, mm, nah. <laughs> I know Skype would be easier and free for people, um, but I don't know. I just don't want Skype running. Uh, you've already seen I get beach balls. I don't want another thing to give me beach balls. So I'm thinking a nice lightweight VoIP app uh, with a telephone number, uh, most likely a US number. Uh, David saying, yeah, it might be a good idea. Uh, sounds like a call-in radio show. Yeah, I can uh, I can put on one of those uh, those really cool uh, sounds on my voice, can't I? And I can say, hey, uh, this is the best music radio station and we're live now. Let's go to the line. Let's go to line number three. And, uh, oh, it's, uh, it's David. It's David in uh, in Wrexham. Or, <laughs> David, hi. <laughs> what have you got to say? Uh, yeah, going back to my radio days. But, uh, yeah, I 
kind of want to turn this into a, a bit of a have a radio feel to it as I know a lot of us are radio peeps here uh, so phone thing sounds fantastic thanks David um, that's so cool excellent excellent uh, Emma uh, hello Jeff are you going to drive us today <laughs> that's nice of you Emma uh, I always go the least expensive way first absolutely Christopher yeah and absolutely why not um, so there you go but um, yeah, just a consideration I have. Right, I think I've kind of uh, run through the chat now for this section. We'll mention more chat uh, comments in nine minutes, so do get them in. I always love to mention your chat. If you just joined us, by the way, we're making uh, punching sound effects like uh, this one to impact uh, with a little mic down there getting whacked in the face by Isabella. How does that look to you guys? Uh, at the moment, I've thrown into the mix. Let's put these into the tracks before I forget what they are. We have got a belt whip. We have got uh, a courgette beating. No, I'm going to call it zucchini for you guys. Seeing as you're not impressed by me calling it a courgette. Um, what was this one? Let's play this one. Oh, yeah, that's a slap. That was a slap. And then we're going to go over here. Uh, this one, I think, was the tea towel. Yeah, that's the tea towel. Tea towel. And then finally on this track, what's this one again? Oh. I can't remember what that one was. Um, we had the kitchen towel. This. What was it? Let's see if I can remember if I go back to waveform. Oh, it's really playing beach ball games with me today. That would be okay if I was on the beach, but at the moment I'm in my studio. So having this uh, little glitch at the moment is not exciting. So bear with us, folks. Um, Jeff is editing his latest show in audition while listening, which is cool. Sons supporter 198 joined on Periscope. Uh, we've got Liam. Uh, if you want a beach ball, go down to Sandown Beach on the Isle of Wight. Yes, it's it's a great beach. Actually, I know the beach ball is finished now. Um, I went uh, this morning with my, my son, my little son. He's only two years old. I went geocaching with him. I don't know if any of you in the chat have ever done geocaching. Uh, it's really, really fun, particularly when you have two kids on school holidays and you need to entertain them for six weeks. Geocaching is like a lifesaver. And if you buy the premium uh, version on the app, it's only five quid. Uh, so the idea is, like, all around the world, people are hiding Tupperware boxes full of treasure. And, I mean, it's not exciting, expensive stuff, but for kids... It's really, really good. Uh, so we went out. We went for a walk uh, in one of the uh, the lovely, beautiful forests on the Isle of Wight. Uh, and I, I could see there's a, usually there's a geocache really near to you wherever you are in the world. You can just go out and find it. And uh, we went to this like wonderful clearing in the woods. And I found literally, I think, the biggest geocache on the Isle of Wight. I've been geocaching now for just over a year. And uh, we got my son his first water pistol. Don't worry, we're talking about violence today, but that is definitely not going to injure you. Uh, it's just you fill it up with water. And I was I was really chuffed that somebody had hidden uh, a water pistol in a geocache uh, in the middle of some woods on the Isle of Wight. Uh, so anyway, that's my uh, my my sidetrack now. Uh, back into this. Uh, so uh, we'll figure out now if we're going to put anything else in there. Um, we got some some thigh slapping. If you're into that. Oh, I know what we do have, um, which might be quite good. This uh, was me hitting the sofa with a huge broom. You know, one of those big wooden brooms, uh, the, the stick brooms like you see on The Sorcerer's Apprentice in Fantasia, where Mickey Mouse... Uh, divides them into multiple brooms, one of those type of brooms, and I, I hit the sofa with that, and it sounded like this. Wow. Actually, I think there's a bit of uh, distortion on the bass there. Yeah, there is a bit of distortion on the bass, but let's uh, try and add some dynamics processing to it and see if we can recover it in any way. Oh, weird. Oh, wow, we've really blown that sound out, so we don't want to do that. Now, I'm just wondering... That's quite a cool hit. Let's take that, pop it into a new file here, and uh, place it here. And I'm just going to cut out that clipping. I wonder if that will help or hinder, but let's try. Yeah, that's a nice kind of bassy sound. Maybe if I actually pull the volume down a bit as well. 
Yeah, that might work. Uh, so let us pull that in down here and we'll get our broom hitting sofa sound. All right, let's take this off mute. Oh, there's like a doubling up there of sounds. Uh, so let's just move this along a bit. That's cool. Okay, brilliant. Thwack, pow, wham. Uh, and, uh, oh, another thing I found, I got inspired by this morning. Uh, you can tell how, ex oh, why is it beach balling on me? This isn't the usual experience on the stream, by the way, but for some reason, uh, something must be up. And uh, we're beach balling a lot today on Mac. Usually my Mac is exemplary, so... Yeah, I just got expired. Uh, uh, expired? <laughs> I got inspired. Um, yeah, and expired too. I was changing the bins, the glamorous life of an audio producer. And as I pulled the bin bag out, I thought, actually, do you know what? That bin bag might actually make a pretty good sound effect. So I kind of gave it a shake. Uh, don't really want to use that. But then I kind of whacked the bin bag a few times. Although... It kind of sounds like you're out geocaching, kind of rustling through bushes. But I thought, yeah, maybe that could work as uh, part of the layer to this uh, punching sound effect. So um, let's place it here and uh, add in some dynamics processing. In the next section, by the way, I'm going to look at EQ and I'll also use a few bits from Logic to see how it sounds. Oh no, that's, that's bad now. But that's better. Maybe we'll put some fade envelopes on it so we don't get all that crunching. I don't want it to sound too bin bag like, otherwise it's going to ruin the effect. I'll put it in. That's the whole idea, really, with sound design. You are experimenting and finding out. Best thing is, there is always undo if it doesn't work. Command Z or Control Z. Um, so let's put the bin bag in over here and see how that works as well. Oh, I can't really hear it in the mix. But that is one darn good punch now. Yeah. Although I've got a silly reaction, haven't I? Right, okay, so we've got the building, we've got the impact, but we have not got the sounds of uh, Ninja Isabella. Look, look at those pipes on Isabella. I mean, seriously, hang on, can we zoom a bit closer on Isabella's pipes here? Because this is stunning, right? I'm just zooming in on the spectral frequency display. So look, this is a sound that Isabella's voice generated earlier. It actually looks like her voice box, doesn't it? It's amazing in the spectral frequency display. And if you want to hear what these sounds sound like, yep, yeah, it's that kind of stuff. Ninja Isabella in action. So I was just going to throw a bit of that in and um, make her sound like she's really going in for the whack here. Uh, so again, let's try a single band compressor on this one. Okay, and we got... That's quite a good one. That's a karate one. Uh, let's go for this impact. Okay, let's go back into uh, here and pull in Isabella Ninja. Here we go. And we'll go for the, uh, the very last one over here. So let's see how it sounds if we put her on a new track down here. Oh, yeah, bit bit quicker. Nice. Maybe a bit tighter. Bit tighter. Yeah, that's it. God, this is so violent. I do not condone violence to audio producers, by the way. Uh, right, it's 1444, it says on my Mac clock here. Uh, so let's get back into uh, some wonderful, wonderful lower third action over there. I am Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. And uh, yeah, today in the chat, uh, really nice of, uh, of Jeff to make a super chat and Michael to make a super chat today. Really helps to support the show. Uh, English for Technical Aviation, you can get a free Google voice number for the USA. Oh yeah, you can, can't you? Um, hmm. That's a good thought, isn't it? I was thinking of using uh, Twilio, because we're already using Twilio for our um, our business number here at MRC. And 
you need like a degree in computer science to figure out how Twilio works. <laughs> but um, now I'm kind of getting my head around Twilio. I'm, I, I'm kind of thinking creatively that I could create, I could pipe a number through uh, so it comes through to me here in the studio uh, when I'm on air. And you can set up rules with Twilio, which I really like. Um, you can kind of say, okay, uh, only make this number active between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. UK time. Any other time, take a voicemail message. So what I could do is outside of the stream hours, I could have a number to call in to the live stream and get get on the air with me um, when I'm live. But when I'm not live, it could be kind of like, hey, you're through to MRC Live. Uh, we're not currently streaming, but if you leave a message, you might get featured on the show or leave a message with a question and we might feature it on the show kind of thing. Um, so, yeah, that's that's I thought I have there. And with Twilio, you can set up like real fine grain rules like, uh, yeah, if it's this time and this time, send the call throughs at the studio. If it's not, uh, send them here, uh, you know, uh, send them through to my personal mobile. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. But uh, yeah, you can do all that kind of stuff. Joe has kindly posted a link to geocaching if you want to play and get your own water pistol for your own kids or or other equivalent awesome toys for free. Uh, obviously, the rule of geocaching is you you take an item, you trade an item. So you always you, you always give back what you take. That's very important in geocaching. Um, but yeah, you know, I tell the kids that, and I, I think it's brilliant for uh, we've got kids two and five years old now, and I think it's just brilliant for them to learn that about life that you don't just like you can't just take things. You can't say want want mine mine. It's like no, actually, if you want to take something, you've got to give something back. It's just like us working, right? If you want to earn money, you've got to give value, that kind of thing. So uh, I think it's a really good life lesson as well. And I love geocaching. I'm a huge geocacher. And uh, David Silk has just donated to the show through Super Chat. Woohoo! Amazing. Can we have a, a sound effect for uh, David Silk? Thank you so much, David. <laughs> for donating uh, five Aussie dollars to the show. Thanks, mate. And uh, he says, Mr. Control, Alt and David shortcuts here, uh, chucking an Aussie fiver in your direction uh, for being informative and fun, especially today. Does that fiver still have the Queen's head on it? And can you take it surfing and not have it disintegrate in your pocket? Uh, I, I seem to remember that's certainly what it was like when I was out there. I love Australia. And uh, and I love I love your Aussie dollars as well. They're, they're so cool. You have the coolest currency in the world. Uh, thank you, David. Um, um, what else have we got here? Uh, continue the conversation absolutely at community.musicradiocreative.com. That's where we all kind of gather and hang out after the show ends uh, over the weekend. Or if you've got any questions about audio, um, what else have we got? Uh, the reason it might be beach balling is because of Premiere Pro. That's a very good point. Uh, Christopher, uh, only when necessary, violence is condoned towards producers. Yeah. Uh, why do you say Cheerio Twilio, Christopher? I'm not sure, quite sure why you say that. Um, oh, Barbara's here. Better late than never. Nice. Uh, Isabella, yeah, she's taking a few days off, isn't she, at the moment? Um, what else have we got? Um, da, da, da. I must check out Twilio for my own business. Yes, it's awesome. Absolutely awesome. I know we're deviating a bit now from the topic, um, but if you do get Twilio going, obscure developer, uh, check out Open... I think it's Open VBX or Open PBX. Can't remember what it's called. I think it's Open VBX. Um, it's on GitHub. It's really old. It's like from 2010, and the repo hasn't been updated for a while. Um, there are some things that you kind of have to hack to get them working, but I'm sure you'll figure it out. And... Um, yeah, it's awesome because that's how you can set up the... It's kind of like if this, then that for phone numbers. And I'm like, this is amazing. So, yeah, Twilio getting big love from me today. Um, Exo Designs in from Pakistan. Nice to see you. Uh, Don, have a great weekend yourself. Uh, Joe's posted a link out there to Twilio if you want to see it. Um, still got the queen on there and notes are still plastic. Nice. Uh, and... Uh, Oh, cheerio, Twilio, just because it rhymes, says Christopher. No other reason. Okay, fine. Ule, wow, amazing. Thank you so, so much. Look at this. This is this is fantastic right there uh, from Ule, who's watching in Norway, uh, sent me 50 Norwegian kroner. I have no idea how much 50 Norwegian kroner uh, converts to uh, in, in local, but there you go. Ule, big cheer for you. Thank you so much uh, for the great streams in the last few days. That's 
awesome of you. Thank you. I really, really appreciate that. And uh, I have to take that uh, 50 Norwegian krona and, uh, and go and spend it in Norway one day because that's one place out of all the places I've, I've been to in Europe that I've never been to. And I really, it's really, really on my destination list in the next few years to get out to Norway because I hear it's a really, really awesome country, nice place to live. Uh, cool. Okay, right. Uh, that's fantastic. So thank you so much. Uh, it's 12 a.m. right now, says MFA, MFE with a Manchester United logo on their avatar. Let's go back into the screen share and, uh, and polish this off now. So I was going to hop over into Logic and record a bit of Logic. Uh, so let's just save what I've got going on there. My epic punch that is hogging up resources. My uh, fan is whirring away like a crazy thing today. And um, I'm just going to set up a new audio file and just use a couple of synth very quickly in Logic. In fact, I'll probably only use one synth. I did say earlier you could probably use a kick drum to add in that real bass because it doesn't have to sound necessarily natural. It just has to sound like a punch, right? Uh, so here we go. New file and uh, record. And let's see. Yeah, that's recording. Nice. Okay, let's go over to Logic. I've already got something loaded here, uh, so I wanted to show this to you on Zoom so you can have a look at what I'm up to. Uh, this is the wonderful Alchemy in Logic, and um, it's basically a synth owned now by Apple. And I went through and I selected the preset Robotics Kit 03. Robotics Kit 03. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just play some notes now on my keyboard, and each note has a different sound. So we got that. So I literally just played through the whole of my keyboard there. And there are pretty cool, like, uh, weird sounding uh, sound effects there. That sounds like a punch to me. So I'm playing note A on my keyboard right now, which is assigned to that sound. And what I can do very quickly in Alchemy, if I want to jazz that up a bit, uh, this is brilliant down here, this pad here, I can move this around. Actually, if I go into up here, let me show you, if I click simple up here, it will turn the whole thing into one big pad for me. And you'll see how all the dials change. I'm just going to stay zoomed for the moment while I keep playing that note and moving this around and you'll hear what happens. So obviously a few of those are unnatural, I wouldn't use them all. That's also a good sound, let's play with that. Okay, cool. I, I really think we've done enough work there in Logic. I didn't want to spend too long in Logic today. I, l I literally wanted to hop in there and uh, and have a play with it, uh, just so you can see that there is the possibility there uh, to, to grab up a good synth. And yeah, if you're using Alchemy in Logic, uh, it's Robotics Kit 03 if you're making punching sound effects that can give you uh, some diamond gems. Let's normalize all of those, uh, and then I'm going to pick out... Let's find a really good impact. I'm really liking this. Let's grab those two. I think I'm going to stick with those two. And because they're already well processed, I don't think I'm going to add on any uh, compression or anything else to those. Uh, so let's listen to what we've got. And then I'm going to add in my synth sound effects as well. This is like the final polish. Hopefully we'll have a little time to play with some EQ as well. Uh, so again, at the point of impact that I marked at the very start of the show. Um, by the way, I'm going to drop these in the community for you to play with. Um, I won't give you the processed version, so I'll just give you the raw, because I'd love to hear what you can come up with. This will be your like weekend assignment from me. Uh, you can post in the, in, the, in the community your designs. Oh, nice. Do you hear how much value uh, those synths add to the whole overall mix? So that's with, without, and then adding those synths in. There's one synth, and there's the other synth. That's a really powerful synth, so I might pull that down in the mix. Turn down the volume. A bit more. It's very, very overpowering, so I only want that to be subtle. Cool, and then this one is a really cool effect. I really like that. That's kind of like a cartoony style. Uh, uh, nice. 
turn that one up. And finally, finally, we forgot the, uh, well, we couldn't forget. Where is it? Uh, Mike, Mike, Mike. Oh, I didn't even tell you I, I slammed a cat car door this morning as well. Uh, car door slams are also good. Don't worry, I'll drop this as a free sound effect in the community. That's me slamming my car door. Um, oh, go on then. Let's pop a car door in there as well. Uh, so car door. Uh, again, I'm not going to compress it because I think that might sort of overdo things, over-egg the pudding, as it were. Um, and because we've got a whoosh in kind of thing, we can place it about there. Back a bit. There. And then, uh, by the way, what I'll do when I finish this at the end of the stream, I'll probably mix this down as a video and pop it up on YouTube um, so that you guys can uh, like play back the finished product uh, later on and see the full thing. Um, right, final thing, we need uh, mic epic punch sounds, and I recorded these earlier. Let's normalize that. Let's find the best one. <laughs> I think the first one is going to be good, isn't it? Let's grab Mike Epic Punch and drop him in. And that's kind of when I get hit. Probably not so loud, though. Let's take that off. No, it needs to be quieter. Nice. Kind of there. Hang on, maybe. Kind of cool to watch that in slow motion, isn't it? Yeah, okay, okay, Isabella, you can stop hitting me now. <laughs> okay, so I think we've got pretty much a finished product there. What I would do is probably go through an EQ, uh, one by one, these tracks, and... Uh, Again, as we're running out of time, I'll kind of wrap it up around here. Uh, but just to tell you what I'd do with the EQ, I'd listen to each effect individually, go through and just, just play with the parametric equalizer to find the best frequencies that bring out and sort of complement each sound to really make it pop. Uh, I'm not using reverb today. As I mentioned, no reverb going on um, because that is, uh, it's, we're keeping this as natural and as clean and as sharp sounding as possible. Um, but hopefully this uh, stream and this little development here uh, gives you an idea of what's possible. A few more comments here. Uh, Joe says Norway is on my bucket list. Nice, nice, nice. Norway is beautiful. You must go, says Obscure Developer. Uh, Ule, uh, you really should, uh, especially Stavanger. Wow. I'm, I'm going to Google Stavanger after the show because that's not a part of Norway I am familiar with. Uh, thank you, Caddo, for uh, recommending the, uh, the YouTube channel. Do subscribe. You have two minutes left to subscribe and get featured on my live stream right now if you'd like. Uh, uh, I have a bucket on my bucket list, <laughs> says Gado. That's nice. I've been to Egypt once, not for pleasure, uh, stationed in Kuwait uh, for a little bit and got to travel to Egypt. Uh, I'd love to go back. Yeah, I've been to Egypt and it's, it's really nice. I know they've had troubles over the, the recent years, uh, but I really, really am a fan of Egypt and uh, I've had a good time there when I've been. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, that's about it, isn't it? That kind of neatly wraps this up like a package with a, a bow on the top of it. So... What is left from me to say is thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining me on the stream today. Uh, it's very kind of you to uh, dedicate a little bit of your time uh, on a Friday. I know Friday is always the getting ready for the weekend day, so uh, people are always very busy on Fridays. Um, but I appreciate you being there. Do join me and others that you see in the chat at community.musicradiocreative.com. Share your creative ideas. Ask questions. Uh, yes, be inquisitive. Just, you know, if you have a question, no matter how silly it sounds, just throw it out there. Helpful bunch over at community.musicradiocreative.com. Uh, and the final thing to say is tune in on Monday's live stream uh, where we'll be launching the intro uh, to this show as a product for you to be able to uh, uh, purchase yourself and customize. So that is coming up on Monday. Monday's show. Have a fantastic weekend and I look forward to chatting to you on Monday from 2pm UK time. <laughs>